So you, are you uh, shooting? Yeah. Okay. Um, hey Luke, how's it going? Uh, so this is, well first let's just do the, uh, I don't know if I give you an idea what the shape is like. It's just two uh, pieces of um, perforated uh, uh, metal, uh, same, you know, one uh, fold or one, yeah you can see what it looks like. Uh, hammered gold on the inside and kind of a bronze on the outside and been experimenting with it I mean, without putting the light in it yet. Uh, if this were to be nice and level, it would stand like this. Uh, it's unbreakable, totally. Mm. And if you were to put a light in it, that would go like something like that. Also as a, as a pendant. Again, it'd be kind of like that. I don't know if you can see the moiré pattern above the uh, the, the delta that the light is go, uh, uh, fitting in. Um, also, another interesting possibility: do a pendant like this, uh, kind of cuts the amount of light getting down to the surface, but it's still there's still plenty there. It's kind of like a uh, semi-transparent uh, vessel. Um, last one would be actually tip it. Oops. Like that. And again, interesting possibilities with the lamp being like this. But uh, the um, I don't know the the dimensions on the metal. Um, like you, it's kind of like a, a found materials project. This is just scrap from a uh, from a local metal source. Most of the stuff that I've gotten has been from a scrap or salvage uh, metal place locally. Uh, let's see here, so that can stand. Also, you know, I suppose that you have a possibility of doing this as sconce, three points of contact with the wall. Um, you can actually do it upside down as a sconce. And I don't like it as much, but still, it's kind of cool. This would, I'm, I'm thinking, it works really well with the uh, Edison lights that you're using. Uh, where the, the filaments are, you can stare right at, right at them without going blind. Um, the only advantage of using a smaller light source is that, as you know, each one of these holes becomes an aperture, uh, so the pattern on the wall is more pronounced if you have a smaller point source of light. Um, all right, I'll email, email this to you. Good to meet you. Thank you for your interest. Really appreciate it. Uh, in case I didn't mention it, I'm in San Diego. Talk to you later.